those Y-Jack probes, they just might be the finest probes ever made. Let's find out today. Hello there guys and gals, I'm out here at a random stretch of very long road in order to test out how far I can go with the Y-Jack probes before they become disconnected. The Y-Jack probes run off of long distance Bluetooth, so we should be able to go a few hundred feet. And we do also have a repeater called the Y-Jack Path, which we're going to see how far we can go once connected to the repeater. Now let's take a quick look at the Y-Jack probes we're going to use. We have the Y-Jack path right here, that's our repeater probe. We have two different pressure probes. We won't need to really use all of them here. We have the two pipe clamps. Underneath, we have another set of probes. We have the vacuum probe, which I don't even really, I don't really care that much about that having connectivity because, you know, it's the vacuum probe. We have two psychrometers and we have an amp clamp, which I will care about because I'll be putting that inside of units and then walking away and testing the amperage. We're going to start with the Y-Jack path because it's our repeater and then once we have a distance with it, we will put the other probe into action beyond it, see how far we can go. I'll be using my little rolly deal right here to measure our distance. So once we make our walk, I will measure back with the roller here and we'll see how far we went. All right, I have the Y-Jack view app open. I'm going to start up the Y-Jack path. And as you can see, you can see one of our probes is still on inside the box, it looks like. So Y-Jack path, and then we have a strength as well. So it shows you the strength that you're sitting at. So we're gonna go ahead and take our walk and see how far we can go. Now all that walking back there to measure the distance the Y-Jack path went, why didn't I just uh, take the roller with me? Would that have been a better idea? Exercise. Well, it's got a good distance, that's for sure. So guys, I'm sitting down here by the stick I put on the ground where I was standing, uh, 12 feet away from the spider, 30 foot away from the bear. As you can see, or really can't see, my truck is down there, it's far away, so we know the distance is good. I'm gonna tell you what, it's real good. <laughs> it's real good, guys. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, let you see this, but this is a number that I wouldn't believe if you told me. So that number is 735. 735 foot of distance between the Y-Jack path and my phone, which is an iPhone XR, which is not the newest model. That's insane. That's over a tenth of a mile. That's about a tenth and a half of a mile. So that is, that is wild. So 735 to the Y-Jack path itself. Okay, I have the Y-Jack pressure app sitting on the back of the tailgate right now. I have the Y-Jack path in my hand and I have my phone in my hand. So I'm gonna walk away from this stuff again. As soon as I lose signal between the path and the pressure probe, I'll leave the path on the road and I'll continue walking with my phone. And uh, I probably won't see you guys for like three days based on what we've been doing so far. So, Guys, I'm actually gonna use these two pipe clamps. My path, for some reason, wasn't recognizing the two pressure probes and it might be because maybe I've used the P51s in the past. I'm not positive about that, but for the purpose of this test, and we'll figure out the other stuff along the way. You can see that it's flashing one and two because it can find one, two different probes that are on. So we're gonna start walking now and I'm gonna take the measuring stick with me this time. In case you guys are wondering over here, what you hear is the interstate I-40. So just if you guys in California just hop on, drive all the way over here, we hang out, have a burger, talk about air conditioning. I got the Y-Jack path on the ground. We're a decent ways away, not as far as we were before, probably something like 400 feet or so. Just disconnected from the pipes or the pipe temperature clamps. I'm gonna start walking now to see how far we can go 
with our connection between the Y-Jack path and my phone. So the weird thing is we came to, well, just a little bit shy of our last spot here. So I guess our maximum distance, we're not gonna be adding 400 plus 700, I guess, to get 1,100 feet. I guess it's gonna be more like you add uh, 700 plus zero to get 700 feet, which is great. But I mean, I got some, you know, I got delusions of grandeur. I thought we were gonna be able to walk to South Carolina and check a unit in Virginia. 700 is pretty good, guys. So I guess that is going to be the tail of the tape here. I'm not quite sure why it really doesn't add much more onto it. Now, I know those of you sitting at home are like, what about obstructions, Zach? Well, I didn't do any obstructions today, so just take it easy, all right? Just reel it in, okay? We'll use titanium walls at a nuclear facility next time. I'm not really going to do that. But uh, let me walk back to the truck. It's only like a, you know, tenth and a half of a mile hold the phone I'm sitting down here on the ground and uh, I think I stumbled onto why we might not have gone as far as I thought we were gonna go see we have to have one and two here flashing because we're picking up two pros right now we got one but it was sitting right back there on the ground it's only picking up nothing so I'm gonna move until we pick up two let's see here there's two I'll go ahead and come back just a few extra feet so we don't lose connection hopefully when I lay it on the ground let's see here yep see when we lay it on the ground it's causing issues so I don't know, maybe we can put it somewhere else or, or what. But let me get a little bit closer here and hopefully we'll stay connected the whole time. Okay, it looks like we're a couple hundred feet away from the truck and we have both of them connected, staying connected for the most part. Hey, don't make me look like an idiot. Yep, there it goes. Well, there we go. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there. It does a little bit better up in the air, I guess, because... Uh, line of sight or something i'm not a nuclear scientist guys i just pretend to know youtube things all right we're out here in the wilderness and our last probe died here our sticks up there so we lost the final probe right around this point so we're going to measure back to our 735 feet see how far we are shouldn't take but just a second stick around guys so we got about 77 feet which gives us a nice sweet 800 we get all sorts of exercise minutes and steps today. I almost got 10,000 steps. I haven't even done my exercise for today. Good grief. Things are looking up in the trimming down category. So what's the summary for today? The Y-Jack probes go far. That is the summary. Learned a little bit about the Y-Jack path, how you have to make sure the lights are blinking so it's picking up the different probes a couple times. And I really wasn't paying attention. It wasn't picking up the probes at all. But once we got it all situated, we went 800 feet before the final probe dropped out. Now that is a maximum distance that I achieved. I don't think that's a working distance because like I said, that was the last probe dropped out, which meant the other two were already out, which meant you would have had to move closer anyway. But that's an incredible distance. It's uh, the longest distance I've ever measured for one of these probes. I mean, I think the closest thing would probably be the I-manifold, but since, when you compare the cost of one thing to another, uh, it's not real feasible for any further jump in distance. So. I know that now the YJAC view app's doing capacity, I believe, so we'll have to check that out. We're gonna do some capacity measurements on the Bosch at the house. So we'll do a little bit of maybe delivered performance versus a performance at the machine itself. We're gonna compare duck loss and things like that. So just stick around. We're gonna do a lot more with the YJAC pros, but for today, I was pretty pleased with the distance. I hope you guys were too. Put it in the comments what you think. Go ahead and like that video and subscribe. That'd really make my day, guys. So I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.